This video is going to be on the different degrees of clothing that I wear. Like, this look is pretty cash. Totes my goats cash. I'm not a brand whore and I don't care about brands. I'd rather create my own outfits by my eyeballs and my cheapy wallet. I'm trying so hard. So here are some of the different degrees of queenie black dressing, clothing, wear. This is my go-to uniform every day. X minus the makeup, black tights, black and pink tennis shoes, short dress, cardigan, side braid, glasses around my neck. This is me every day. I don't have time to play vampire every day. Of course, that's what I have to say. Vampire pretending to be a human, pretending to be a vampire. This is like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go shopping, thrift shopping. This is my thrift shopping outfit right here. I would never go out of the house in sweatpants and no makeup. The only time I go out of the house without makeup, even a little bit of makeup, is to walk, to do our nightly walks in the evening. Anybody that says to you, you don't have to get dressed up or you don't have to wear makeup, don't worry about it. It's totally casual. The only reason why they are telling you that is because they don't want to look like a dump. As a creative person, as somebody that values the short time that we have on this planet, I enjoy dressing when I go out of my house because it makes me feel good and it leaves a good impression on people. And it shows people that I am creative. Period. The end. Just thrift store find cover. A dollar. They say it's going to be a casual thing, so I would wear something like this, you know. Mary Jane's, capri tights, a slip dress, and a cardigan. This whole outfit, let's see, I got the shoes off of eBay for $7 a pair. This dress was like four, the cardigan was like four, and the tights. You can look cute, and I made the bow. So, you know what, I don't care what they say, but I'm 50 and I could dress however I want. Actually, I think I deserve the right to wear, to dress like this at my age, more than somebody younger. Of course, my knees are showing. That's a huge breakthrough for me. My knees are not my favorite part of my body, but my husband thinks they're okay, so, and I'm comfortable, I think I look cute, but somebody else might not think I'm cute, I don't care, I don't care if you think I look ridiculous for my age, I don't care if you think I just look ridiculous in general, we are polite vampires, vampires in polite society. So it really doesn't matter how you dress, but as long as you are not rude and you contribute to society in a positive way. We own a home, we pay our taxes, we feed our kids, we take care of our dogs, we have jobs, we're not in jail. This is a night on the town. I don't know what town. 
maybe it is some club or something that I don't want to wear a corset and I'm just going to go sit in a booth anyway and listen to the music, have a couple drinks. Because these shoes, I don't do high heels very well, so these shoes are the kind of shoes that will be like shoes, shoes, shoes. Sit the rest of the night so I don't have to walk. Walk like this. But any, in, any stride more than that, then you're dead. Circle skirt that I made, super simple. I'm going to show how to make that. No edge, just a raw edge to get it that raw. Raw edge. What is that? You see that? Doesn't matter how much I work out, that part never goes away. I got a little bit of boob. Outfit like this is something that I would wear to Disneyland or to go out where I need to be, wear comfortable shoes. These shoes are cute little Mary Janes that are from the brand SOS, I think. They're about a hundred and something dollars, but they're so comfortable. They're super cushiony, and I added the little bows to them, so they look cute. I made this skirt. It's got skeletons. Got skeletons. See? And the skirts underneath are all from thrift store. I generally like take would take a skirt and sometimes they have a lining and I'll take the lining out just so I can use it to layer to make lots and lots of layers. And I have a cardigan on. It's a top I got for like three bucks. I made this bow. I have to always wear my skull and crossbones. I like wearing high collars because that's just my thing. This is something that I would wear like to vend or to go to a, a vent, you know, like a convention or something, I don't know maybe a club says Lily and Fred the staple of my piece and the most expensive is the corset which is from versatile corsets and I did dress it up a little bit with uh, appliques and dingling things the overskirt I made the overskirt and it's something that I'm going to show you how to make in a future video because it's super cheap and it makes it super cute and it hides the tummy. You know, when you wear, when I wear a corset, I don't want that showing. So it's a nice little. Oh, what's under there? Don't want to show you. This is top skirt. I made this skirt and it's, I mean, really, it's super easy to make a circle skirt. And to make it look extra fancy, put just put stuff all around it underneath. Woo! As like a slip, I have a five dollar thrift store skirt. The top cost me three dollars at like a thrift store, and I cut off the sleeves because I don't like cap sleeves because I don't want to show my arms. And I'm wearing a shrug. I just added a little bow. I'm looking at a mirror over there so I could see what I'm doing. And this little bat head by Black Willow Gallery. I made my kitty ears. Yeah, my shoes. My microphone's in the way. Uh, Victorian shoes. These are repos not repossessed reproductions that I got from Oak Tree I think years ago they run about I think I, these are about 120 but they've lasted me these ones have lasted me about I've had these for about nine years and I like them because they don't have the cheese ball zipper you know up the side 
Watch this. La, la, la. The bustle that I made from a scarf and bat fabric. I'll show you how to do that in a future video as well. Um, big giant snaps on the back, big giant snaps on the back of my corset, and da 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 ding. Wait, dong. Da -da 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 -da. How cute is that? The reason why I like a bustle is because it evens out the silhouette. You know. I wore this to an event. I made this entire outfit. Velvet and silk and sequins and beautiful fabric. I don't consider something like this a costume because if you can go in your closet and get it out or you can make it, it's not a costume. I would consider this a costume or this. <laughs> it's just not me. Mm -hmm.